Hi, I'm Steve Hauser. I'm the past president of the American Heart Association, and I also chair our funding subcommittee, which has been charged with development of a, a revised uh, research portfolio. I'm here with Dr. Ivor Benjamin, president-elect of the American Heart Association, former chair of the research committee that uh, his committee worked to help develop uh, a set of new research opportunities and research programs that we think can broaden what we do and be more inclusive uh, with respect to the people that we can attract to AHA funded research so that we can meet our mission, which is to reduce death and disability from cardiovascular diseases and stroke. So I, th I thought we would start by just having Ivor say a few words and we'll touch on a few of the new research programs and hopefully give you a flavor of why we have done what we've done and what we hope to accomplish with the new research program. So Ivor, take it away. <laughs> well, Steve, um, thank you very much. As you know, science is the bedrock of the American Heart Association. We both uh, got our first grants with the American Heart Association and as an organization, we want to continue to be the best stewards of the dollars that we get from our donors and uh, little kids doing jump rope for hearts. And so we began to just have that conversation, were we thinking broad enough about providing opportunities for not only individuals, uh, we obviously had a strategic planning in 2012 that then led to us being able to uh, come up with our 12 um, essential um, elements that speaks to being able to support uh, both individuals and um, projects at all career stages. And so this revised uh, research portfolio is intended to do that. Our goal is to be more inclusive. We want to be able to provide more opportunities for women, for underrepresented minorities, for institutions that may not be as research intensive. In other words, in order for us to basically accomplish the mission, of reducing cardiovascular disease and stroke, we need all hands on deck. And we're gonna do that through our science. And we're gonna do that by expanding opportunities for um, individuals really being able to do the most meritorious science. So um, arm in arm with you, <laughs> you've also chaired the, 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 the research committee and uh, your excellent leadership uh, during uh, your tenure as president of the American Heart Association is uh, quite reassuring for our, our community. So thank you, Ivor. I, I just want to remind everyone that HA has had a long-standing commitment to the training of the next generation of cardiovascular scientists. We're, we're continuing that and actually expanding what we do for young folks. So one of the things that we've added, for instance, is an opportunity to attract undergraduates to AHA funded research. We will continue to fund pre and postdoctoral fellows. Uh, we have other opportunities for career development um, that will capture the former SDG and the, the fellow to faculty programs will now be within the, the new career development award. The, these will have expanded mentoring for the fellows uh, to help guide them uh, through their key transitional steps from pre to postdocs mm -hmm. or from clinicians in training to clinician scientists and then to faculty positions. So we're excited about the new opportunities that, that the new portfolio will give to, to those that have uh, their own drive towards mm -hmm. research in cardiovascular diseases and stroke. I, I think this is going to be a great opportunity for, for people to continue to seek funding from AHA. We're looking for innovative folks um, who truly can drive uh, their science to the mission of the American Heart Association. So um, to build on uh, exactly what you've just shared, I'm very excited about these area grants. And so we know that there are institutions that are not as research intensive. We just want to be able to recognize individuals who can provide mentorship and research opportunities at those institutions. The idea being that by providing that exposure, 
they can then uh, build on that. Um, so a mentor will be, uh, of course, in a competitive process. Um, we are just being very delighted with actually having um, applications from institutions that not have previously gotten support from the American Heart Association. That's a good thing. We want to really be able to basically canvas the entire uh, country um, in that particular respect. So, so it's not just, if you will, opportunities for uh, high intensity research uh, institutions. The American Heart Association recognizes it has to be in all communities, uh, in all states. And um, this is really an opportunity that I will encourage someone to be able to visit our website and to see how they can basically get more involved uh, with those opportunities. Those are really great points, Ivor. You know, I personally came from a very small college, so I'm sensitive to the small college folks. Yep. Uh, so many of our fellows go off in, into small colleges where they teach and, and have laboratories, and we want, we want to make sure that everyone has an opportunity to get involved in AHA-funded research uh, they can train young people within their laboratories that yeah. then can move on uh, in their careers to pre- or postdoctoral opportunities in many of our labs. So I, I think the new portfolio is just an opportunity to broaden our reach. We're trying to leave no stone unturned and find people throughout the country and throughout the world yeah. who can help us uh, meet our mission. And so we will we'll continue to look. We welcome feedback from all of you. Um, we appreciate all the feedback that we get. And when we get good feedback, we'll try our best to modify the programs moving forward so they best meet uh, the, the folks that are trying to take advantage of what we have to offer. Steve, I operate on the principle that feedback is a gift. Uh, one of our thinking uh, around how can we continue to make the AHA portfolio be um, as innovative as possible are these new opportunities that we have with our merit uh, award mechanism. This is obviously for not just funding a project, but funding established investigators who now want to go off and really now push the boundaries with, with some innovative ideas. I'm equally excited about the Strategic Free Focus Research Network, where again, as much as those networks are comprised of various centers, we have built in the foundations of both discovery science, we've got clinical science, we've got population science, we even have opportunities for training. So again, if you're watching this video, you need to go out, you need to look at the entire suite of, um, of opportunities that we have, uh, and if there is something that's uh, in your area, get involved. And, and, and I think that this is particularly important, especially at this time. One final thing I want to say is that when you actually look at um, the uh, individuals who have actually been previously funded by American Heart Association grant, they then go on and they're much more competitive in the national pool. The American Heart Association spends about $160 million annually, but that's really the seed corn. That, that's really the initial start that people get to then be competitive for the, you know, the billions of dollars that are available uh, with the National Institutes in Health. And the American Heart Association works side by side in advocating, advocating for a larger federal budget to be able to support uh, both careers as well as uh, individuals really being able to do the best uh, research to be able again to eliminate heart disease and stroke. Thank you, Ivor. So my final comments would be to look at the website. You should be able to find um, descriptions of the new programs, the deadline dates for submission for the new programs. And I also would like you to think about um, thinking about how you can help the AHA. What can you do to volunteer uh, with, with the AHA so that you can become more than, more than a researcher, but also an advocate for the health of the patients that, and the population that we hope to serve. So thank you so much if you're listening, and we look Steve, forward Steve, to Steve, I wonder if I can add one more thing. You can add whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> Both you and I would be considered established investigators. And as we are now rethinking about our research portfolio, we also want to be sure that our study sections 
that our reviewers really are now up to speed with how we're thinking about engaging more of those individuals. And you and I have done a lot of reviews, but we're going to look straight to that camera <laughs> there, and we're going to tell our colleagues that they also got to get involved. So we're coming after you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ivor. <laughs>